birthday, Virgos! Welcome to the weekly love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 12th to the 21st. So, hey, newbies, for those who are checking me out for the first time. For those of you who are not used to my videos, I always talk about my meditative session, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy that you are experiencing directly or energy that I'm picking up on from someone in your environment or someone that you are energetically attached to. Keep in mind, it's energy, so it can be vice versa. So Virgos... I freaking love your energy, by the way. Like, I love that your readings have been so spiritual, like, as of late, and it's all about your growth and your journey. It's really beautiful stuff, some hard stuff, too, um, which just goes along with spiritual journeys, right? So, Virgos, I love the energy you're in. So, it's a lot of you are still dealing with that, like, death challenge energy, which I'm gonna get to because that's actually gonna take an interesting turn for some of you. And I picked up on that towards the end of my meditative session. But first and foremost, like, I just want you guys, like, going, man. Like, I just want you guys were at peace. You guys had a lot of you have accepted who you are and what you've been through and you've made peace with that some of you have just made peace with that and i feel like it's actually triggering a bit of an actual of a physical journey for you some of you i think are planning a move i think some of you are planning a move some of you are just taking small steps towards uh things that resonate with you and getting rid of, and continuing to get rid of things that don't resonate with you uh i actually got the song dirt road anthem by jason aldean i freaking love that song man uh, and i actually have a pen with me this time so i'm going to remember i forgot what video it was i did a video uh for the first to the 11th um where i had a song come in mercy by brett young and i forgot to put the link down there and i couldn't remember which one it was so i'm writing this down because i will forget <laughs> Hold on. I should have wrote it down before I recorded the video, but then I was like, oh shit, no, I forgot. I actually forgot to write it down. I'm that person. It's it's the Mars Gemini in me. I just can't help myself. Okay, anyway. Don't write anthem. <laughs> uh, okay. Virgo, so back to you. Some of you guys could actually be planning a trip or maybe even planning a trip of like uh, for spiritual expansion and for enlightenment, but either way, you're very, very mellowed out. You're very mellowed out. You're just happy with yourself. You're finally content with everything that's happened to you and everything you have in your life, and you're happy. You're happy, and God damn it, if anyone tries to take that from you, because Virgos, those of you who are still dealing with the death challenge that I was talking about last week, um, and actually, even the, for those of you who have finished that, I feel a little bit of a test. And it doesn't have to be a test, but your patience will be tried. I'll put it that way. Your patience will be tested. I'll put it that way. I do feel a bit of an intruder. I do really feel that way. An intruder in on your energy, someone very abrasive, someone very demanding. I, I'm like demanding is like very forefront. Someone who's very much and it, you know, people are, are demanding like that. It usually comes from a place of insecurity or even, um, desperation i don't like that word but it is just the word for it you know it doesn't mean someone's like desperate and easy no desperation is like this has to happen very five of swords this has to happen i'm gonna make it happen it feels very very air heavy could, could, could be from an earth sign doesn't necessarily have to be but this person is harnessing a lot of air sign air sign energy gemini libra aquarius um because they just they, they just they just can't be they just can't be content with what is what you're doing right now <laughs> they can't be happy with the situation that you're finding yourself in it's it's for some of you it's a case of like how dare you be happy because i'm not that happy for some of you it's simply just a case like that others you are actually like i said you a lot of you are cutting out habits people situations jobs environments what have you i think i might have said that already oh well maybe environments needed to be said twice um that don't resonate with you and that means some people and some of these people are not going to be cool with that they are not going to be cool with that and they're going to put up a little bit of a fight okay um but i do feel it's out of insecurity i do feel it's out of desperation for a lot of them it's because seeing you grow and seeing you become so strong and for a lot of you i get a lot of travel i don't know what that's about it could even be unsus unexpected unsuspected <laughs> unexpected uh travel like you know what i'm just gonna get my car and go I'm just gonna get in my car and go like and that's it and that's it and I'm just gonna leave all this stuff behind because I want new a lot of you are focused on new some people are really gonna lash out at you because of that a lot of people are jealous when people can do that you know what I mean so just be prepared for that okay Virgos let's go ahead and get into this reading for those of you who are new to my channel or new to Tarot just please understand that these messages will not be for everybody messages come through for those who really need to hear them so if it's not your week that's okay no need to throw any hate just go ahead and check out some other readers someone else just clearly had to hear that message okay also guys messages can be reversed or vice versa because we are working with energy so if it's resonating with the roles are reversed that's totally fine 
Don't need a bitch about in the comments. It's totally fine. <laughs> it's totally okay. Um, also, guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. And that's going to apply to more than just uh, love. It can apply to work, self-growth. Like for a lot of you Virgos, it's been about self-growth or friends or family. Okay? All right. And if you have any other questions, please check out the link below. All right. Any messages for my Virgos? I just heard Serene. Oh, I like that. Serene. <sighs> yeah, Virgos, you're finding such a place of inner peace. It's really nice. It's really nice. I feel like this is coming on during the full moon, to be completely frank with you. I do feel like it's coming on with the full moon energy, which isn't Pisces, which is your natural seventh. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised. You know, that's not surprising to me, uh, especially for those where you're cutting out a lot of relationships that don't resonate with you. Um, and it's also full moon in Pisces is going to bring a lot of clarity and intuition, uh, and increased intuition for a lot of people. And Virgo, you already have been in that place for some time. And this is your season. So I think that's also bringing you a lot of peace because you've come into a place of acceptance. I'm getting downloads. Um, you come into a place of acceptance, especially when it comes to family wounds. Oh, 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 thank you, Spirit. They're reminding me. I forgot. I did pick up on something else in the meditative session, and they just reminded me of it. They reminded me of the story of Lozen. Uh, for those who don't know who Lozen is, it's not a very popular story. It's not a very popular historical figure. She should be, though. She should be. She was pretty badass. Uh, she was actually... How do I say, how do I really say, like, what her title was? And and uh, if, if any... If anyone from the Navajo tribe are watching, I greatly apologize if I am not giving this accurately. Um, but she was one of the main warriors and she was female. Um, but at the same time, she was also a medicine woman she and midwife sort of uh, energy, like energy, a uh, person. <laughs> that's that's what she did she basically did it all uh she was also very enlightened very spiritual they considered her to be very much connected to ancestors uh very much connected to spirit and she often had uh intuitive messages come through that actually helped the navajo escape you know americans um, <laughs> the wrath of the americans as long as humanly possible uh really really amazing story you guys should check it out if you don't know who lozen is um anyway needless to say that they brought that up to me and i had forgotten because Initially, I was like, why are they giving this to me? Because I almost felt like it was past life. Not that you were losing, just like that energy. That energy was really hitting home, I think, for a lot. Yeah, the energy hits home for you, a lot of you, from your past lives, this energy of just um, having to fight for your people, having to fight for what's right, and doing everything you can. And even if it means sacrificing yourself and sacrificing a lot of who you are, for the betterment of other people, for the betterment of your family, and for uh, the people around you. And, you know, Virgos, a lot of you, I think, have been healing a lot of ancestral wounds at that. Oh, yeah, a lot of you have been healing some ancestral wounds uh, in generational cycles. Oh, oh sorry, notification. Um, and I think that's just coming through. And you're at a place of peace now with that. You've done the work. Virgos, a lot of you have done the work in that already. A lot of you have done the work in that already which is beautiful and because you're at peace you can finally put that wound those wounds um you can put all that pain you can put all that stress the burden of family wounding generational cycles past life trauma you can put a lot of that behind you now because you've done a lot of the inner work to get to where you are okay that's only gonna be for some of you let's get into it <laughs> 10 minutes in now any messages for virgo any messages for virgo Any messages for Virgo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Virgo? Any messages for Virgo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Virgo? You're done sacrificing yourself for other people. They just told me that. You're done sacrificing yourself for other people. Any messages for Virgo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Virgo? Yeah, I feel, I made, I feel a major light, major movement. Getting the hell out of Dodge, just getting in your car and going, getting on that plane and going, just seeing what the world has in store for you now that you're putting yourself first. Any messages for Virgo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st? Ooh, we've got the tower. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence. Three of wands, Aries energy, and then we have the page of wands in reverse. Oh my. 
Oh my, oh my, oh my, Virgo. Yeah, you've had a bit of a tower moment here. You've had a tower moment here. For some of you, this is part of the intruder energy that I was picking up on and the backlash you'll be getting for this newfound peace that you're coming into. I feel like you've received message from far away. It feels like it feels like bad news, to be honest with you. It feels like bad news coming in from far away from someone that you either are, either have a lot of geographic distance from or emotional distance from, someone that you're distant with. You're getting bad news. You're getting bad news. Sorry. I like again, I'm feeling that it's more of that intruder energy here. High ground. You're on high ground. What is this about? You're on high ground. Yeah, this is low vibrational energy, Virgo. It's a, it's beneath you. Not to sound all high and mighty, but it's beneath you. It is. It's just beneath you. And, and, and you know, for some of you, that's going to be the last straw. For some of you, that's going to be the last straw. You're just going to be like, I've worked this hard. I've done this much. And people still want to get up in my face. Like some of you are going to be like that about it. And you're just going to be like, fuck it. I'm out. I'm out. Any messages for Virgo? Any messages for Virgo? Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Virgo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Wow, Virgos, that's it. Overall energy, 10 of wands in a verse, Sag energy, you're done. You're done. You're not going to carry the burden of anyone else, too, is what I'm getting. I think a lot of you have felt the need to carry a lot of burdens from other people, family specifically, um, or loved ones that you may have. And it's, it's, you know, we, we like to be there for people we love, right? A lot of us do. But sometimes we end up taking on burdens of others and we don't realize it. You're done with that. You're so done with that. You're so done with that, Virgo. I can feel it. You're, it's like, it's making you want to just bounce. It's making you want to bounce. So we only have a three card reading. So let's go and look at the tower first. First and foremost, I feel like this tower, for some of you, caused the distance in the first place. And then you get some bad news or you get that intruder-like energy. Very snippety, very demanding. And they're just like, I'm done. So let's look at the tower. Let's look at the tower. Uh, yeah, Ryder. Let's do Ryder Wave. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Tell me about the tower in reverse for Virgo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Tell me about the tower in reverse for Virgo. Tell me about the tower in reverse for Virgo. Regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Capricorn, interesting. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You have Taurus in your chart. That's definitely Capricorn, but Taurus came out of my mouth. Came out for a reason. Um, before Pentacles in reverse, release. Yeah, release. Vir Virgo, you are so like, whenever this happens, you're just like, fuck this. I'm out. I'm so out. Because... You, you're, you've come to that place of peace and acceptance, and you're not going to let anyone fuck with that. You're not going to let anyone take your peace away. Tell me about the tower in reverse. I'm also getting for some that there's a, there's a money issue here. I, I feel like it's something you're indirectly attached to. Some of you feel like this intruder is messing with your money or trying to mess with your money. For some, they have actually done it. Oh, yeah. Page of Swords in reverse. Childish communication. Sorry, I was getting a lot of stuff, and I like that was just too much. Uh, childish communication. Childish communication. Yeah, I Virgos. For some of you, someone lied about money, or someone's accusing you of lying about money. For some, you're having an argument about money. Whatever it is. For some of you, it's an argument about money. Others, it's just really, really childish behavior and communication. And you know, Virgos, you're just like you're over that. You're over that. You're over that. What did I say about that sword energy? Okay. Tell me about tower in reverse. Tell me about tower in reverse. Some of you could be chi um, arguing over child support. I don't know what that's about, but some of you could be arguing over child support. Tell me about tower in reverse. Tell me about tower in reverse for Virgo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, God, guys. I love tarot. Oh, I love tarot. Look at you, Virgo on your chariot <laughs> you don't even stick around for the whole conversation some of you are just like oh your mouth oh you're mouthing oh i'm out i'm out 
You might even just like walk away while they're talking or hang up the phone while they're yelling at you. I'm sorry, that's funny. I actually saw some of you guys doing that. A lot of you have not hit this energy yet, so keep that in mind. Chariot, Cancerian energy with the Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, and then we have Temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energy. You're getting out because you literally just don't want to deal. It's too disruptive to your peace. It is about some um, bullshit that's gone on in the past for some it's ongoing patterns of bullshit behavior, of arguing over money, deceitful actions over money, or just acting like a fool, okay? Either way, it's too imbalanced, it's too low vibrational for you, and you're like, I'm out, I'm out. Overall energy, we have judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. And then we have the lovers. Gemini energy, also my divine soul connection card. Yeah, I, I feel like this is the energy of the person that you're leaving behind. It could be someone that you have a very, very intense soul, uh, soul tie with, a soul connection with. But whatever action you took, Virgo, you basically just made a rational decision. You just did what was in your best interest. And it created a lot of space between you and this person. It will create a lot of space between you and this person. But you've just had it with the bullshit. You just, you don't resonate with that. You don't resonate with that. You deserve better. And you're not going to take on that burden anymore. Okay? So let me get to this energy. The Three of Wands and the Page of Wands in a verse. Let's look at the Three of Wands. And then we'll look at the Page of Wands in a verse. Since it's only a three-card reading, we can really get into these cards here. <sighs> yeah, I'm feeling legacy for this. Yeah, you're out. Like, I'm not sticking around to see how this turns out. I'm out. <laughs> Tell me about three of wands. Tell me about three of wands for Virgo. Tell me about three of wands for Virgo regarding love. Tell me about three of wands for Virgo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about three of wands for Virgo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Okay. Tell me about the three of wands for Virgo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. <clears throat> Two of swords in reverse, moon and Libra energy. Yeah, as, again, this, like, energy of high ground, of high ground. I really feel like you've just... You understand the situation at hand, you understand the person that you've been dealing with, and you understand what you want and what's best for you, and you're thinking very clearly. You see clearly. You have a whole, what's that word? Bird's eye? Oh yeah. <laughs> bird's eye. Um, you have a bird's eye view of the situation. Something about threes too. Something about threes? Threes? For some of you, like I said, this is a pattern, and, sometimes, and for some of you, it was just three strikes, you're out. Definitely some of you, it was three strikes, you're out. Um, but you're very, very clear-headed. Very, very clear-headed. So I'm more about the Three of Wands. I'm also getting that some of you do take that moment before you head out of like, or just walk away from the situation or conversation, um, or just get in your car and go, or get on a plane and go. There is a pause here. There's a pause of like, okay, if I'm gonna go, specifically those that are traveling, if I'm gonna go, where am I gonna go? Am I just gonna go aimlessly? Or, or should I just take a shot? Should I just, something about take a shot? Should I just take a shot? That's interesting, Virgos. That tells me you actually have a place, situation, or person in mind. Oh, more clear-headed thinking. King of Swords, Aquarian energy, could also be Gemini or Libra. Take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. This energy is really interesting to me. Take a shot. So I'm about Three of Wands. Six of Pentacles in reverse and that Page of Wands in reverse again. Double confirmation. More of that intruder energy, that bad news, that snippety snipety energy. Very taking. A very taking energy. A very selfish energy. And like I said, for some, it's an argument about money. For some, it's quite literally an argument about money. Tell me about Three of Wands for Virgo regarding love. September 12th to the 21st. Tell me about Three of Wands for the partner of Virgo, September 12th to the 21st. Overall energy, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Underneath that, we have Justice, Libra energy. And then we have Six of Pentacles, not Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Six of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy, could also be past life, soulmate, karmic energy. Remember, you did have Six of Pentacles out already. Two sixes. Do you have any other synchronicities here? No, two sixes. Two sixes. Um, Virgo's... 
you know what's best for you and you're gonna get it you're gonna you're gonna find your own justice here by leaving this person situation behind because it doesn't resonate with you you have that inner peace you've accepted a lot of things recently and you know you don't have to deal with this it's just very simple i don't have to deal with this i just don't i just don't and again i'm getting that issue of money for some of you um for some of you this person actually did take a lot of money in some way shape or form or they owe you a lot of money there's something about financial instability here um and ongoing ongoing and it's like more of that energy of this person wanting more again that's only for some of you but it is coming in really strong um either way virgos you're getting back on your feet you're not letting this person shake you you have your peace you're not letting them take it from you so let's go ahead and look at the page of wands in a verse and then we'll pull some advice I'm actually filling out some Wonderland for this. Or Tarot Wonderland, I guess is what it's called. Okay. So I got the Page of Wands in reverse. So I got the Page of Wands in reverse. So I got the Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Virgo, some of you already have... Okay, this isn't... they're telling me take a shot, take a shot again. Maybe you're going to be drinking, I don't know. Virgo, there is this energy of like of maybe I should just take a chance there or here or there. It's like some of you already have it like an, uh, yeah, it's a pull on the heart. Thank you. I was going to say an idea, but that didn't feel right. And then it's like, I felt it in my heart chakra. Um, a lot of you have a place or person or situation that your heart's actually been calling to you about for a while already. And this moment just like, it's like, it's just that last straw where you're like, hmm, maybe I should just go. <laughs> Maybe I should just follow where my heart is telling me to go. I think you've been held back a lot for uh, three-dimensional purposes and what I, or three-dimensional means. And what I mean by that is like money, home, security, family, structure, what you're familiar with, what you're comfortable with. And it's like, this has just been shot to hell for me. I, sh I should just take it a, take a shot at that place, that person, that situation that my heart's been telling me to go to. Find out the page of wands in reverse. So I'm at the page of wands in reverse for Virgo. Hey, tell me about this intruder, this bad news energy. So I'm at the page of wands in reverse for Virgo. So I'm at the page of wands in reverse for Virgo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Find out the page of wands in reverse for Virgo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. Find out the page of wands in reverse for Virgo regarding love. Oh, yeah. Judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Oh, and look, ten of wands, burdens. The burden that you're just like, nope. <laughs> not my burden, not my potato, not my bag step out <laughs> not not my responsibility yeah whatever this person's saying to you whatever news you're getting it is like so the last straw for some of you where it's just like how far off the rail does this person is this person going how much does this person think they can get away with you know it's like that kind of energy tell me about the page of wands in reverse tell me about the page of wands in reverse Oh, interesting. King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Yeah, I feel like you guys get a little triggered by this. Virgo, you get a little triggered by this. And the second you realize... Yeah, there you go. That's how much you've grown, Virgo. The second you realize this person's triggering you, the second you realize that, you're like, oh, mm, you're disrupting my peace. Mm -mm -mm. You're disrupting my peace, my Virgo peace. And that's not okay. And since that's not okay... I don't have to deal with you and I'm not going to deal with you. <laughs> anyway, so I have the page of wands in reverse. So I have the page of wands in reverse for Virgo. So I have the page of wands in reverse for Virgo regarding love, September 12th to the 21st. And like I said, guys, for some of you, this could be multiple people doing this because they're upset at your newfound peace and your newfound happiness and your new perspective on life and your newfound strength. Um, so it could be a group of people like your family or friends Family's coming in really strong for a lot of you um, that could be acting this way towards you very much just like lashing out to being very demanding of your time and your money and your energy and others. It's just one person in particular. 
Tell me about page ones in reverse. All right, now we've got, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, look at you, Virgo. My peace. <laughs> Five of wands in reverse. Leo energy and then the star, Aquarian energy. Yeah, this is you, Virgo. You're just looking down. It's almost like you're looking down at this. You're looking down at this bull these bullshitters. You're looking down at these people who keep lashing out at you or person, right? And the bullshit, low vibrational shit they're bringing to the table. And you're just like, oh, oh, you poor thing. <laughs> Oh, you really think that's gonna work you know it's just you're, you're almost in a way taking pity on them and it's like that that's also a true sign of of someone um being very high vibrational or at least someone who who understands like that some things are just really not worth engaging in right and you're there virgo you're just like oh you're so sad <laughs> overall energy we have ace of wands in reverse yeah you're just not putting up with the bullshit you're just not going to put in any time or energy or effort into this. You're just not. You're not going to because you know if you do, eight of swords. You know you're going to get trapped and entangled up in their freaking burdens again. You just know it. You know it. So you're not doing it as you shouldn't. And go about your peace. Go about your journey. Whatever travels you might be doing. Whatever move you might be doing. Whatever new job, situation, relationship, what have you, uh, you'll be in being engaged with. It's to your vibration and it resonates with you. And it will maintain that level of peace, okay? Any advice for my Virgos? Any advice for my Virgos? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Oh, <laughs> I was doing fine the whole time. Now my throat all of a sudden just closed up. Mm. Mm. Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos? Here we go. Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Grasshopper spirit, take the leap of faith. 30 breaking down to a three. This is full energy. What did I say, Virgos? You're ready for a new journey. You're ready. You're so ready and you have that peace of mind to do it. Oh, Virgos. I love when you guys get this card. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. Energy of 44, which is a master number. Excuse me. I love this card for you because it basically says you're really not afraid to go there because you've come to terms with a lot in your life about what you've been through, the people in your life, and who you are as a person. And it's made you very strong. It's made you very powerful. And it's made you very calm and peaceful. And people do not like that. But you're saying, fuck you. I'm getting the hell out if I want to. Um, you're ba it's basically a big F you to anybody who tries to get in your way. I like it, Virgo. Just because you're at peace and just because you're enlightened doesn't mean that you're a doormat. And this is the epitome of that energy. Okay. Any other advice for Virgos? So Virgos, if you're like, damn it, I gotta go, and you have any hesitation, don't. Just go. Just go. Any advice for Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? September 12th to the 21st. Oh, oh, okay. goes I knew it I knew your heart was calling out to a situation a person or a place look at that energy that's freaking beautiful nightingale spirit love is all around and swan spirit time for a deep dive 41 breaking down to a five and 60 breaking down to a six progression what did I say? You're on the move, Virgo. And some of you already have a place, a person, a situation in your mind where your heart's saying, you gotta go be there. Like, <laughs> you gotta go be there. That resonates with you now that you've gone through this death challenge, now that you've gone through accepting all this stuff that you've been through and things about your life and yourself. Now that you are all, you know, stronger and cleared up and even more high vibing, this resonates with you. Go get it. Like, it's, it's very much calling out to you, Virgo. It's really beautiful energy. Nightingale Spirit, for those of you who know and who've been with me for a while, this card for me as a reader indicates that there's a very significant love interest in the midst of this. Swan Spirit is a very Piscean energy, so it's funny I was picking up on the full moon in Pisces. Um, this is about going into the depths of your emotion, okay? Going down to the deep, deep depths of yourself. I feel actually a very intense emotional connection with this person. 
it doesn't have to be a romantic interest but that's just what this card indicates for me as a reader and like i said for some of you it is a person pulling on your heart chakra all that emotion and green heart chakra energy uh because it's a very intense connection okay because it's very very intense um others of you it's just where your heart belongs whether it's a new job or just a new city and it's just time for that change because you've been through a lot of change and when you change internally your environment has to change or just starts to do it just as a, a you know energetic reaction right for every change wait how's it go hold on for every reaction there's an opposite and equal reaction right yeah exactly that's why when you do stuff internally you will start to see the shifts externally at some point in time that's how manifestation works that's law of attraction essentially so yeah virgos beautiful really really beautiful let's see what's on the bottom oh virgos i think you guys had this card recently skunk spirit know your worth 54 breaking down to a nine you know your worth virgo you're at peace with who you are you know what's in your best interest you know what vibes with you and this is you putting your foot down of like i just did all this work you want to try to challenge me i don't have to even step to you if i don't want to i'm just gonna go because <laughs> this is beneath me you know that's basically what you're saying because this is beneath me and i have a newfound sense of confidence and power within myself and contentment contentment first and foremost within myself and i'm gonna go and do whatever the hell i want to do virgos i love you and for some of you that's someone you have a very intense commo uh, commotional commotional <laughs> oh commotional commotion oh let's not go there let's not go there um, it was about to go to a sexy place. Anyway, some of you that is uh, a person, like I said, you have an emotional connection with or a job or a place that you have an emotional connection with that is pulling on your heart chakra because you're supposed to be there. OK. All right, Virgos. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Namaste, Virgos.